G'day and welcome, my name is Chris, and well, this is going to be a quick episode, but I've got some important stuff I need to let any Australian buyer out there know. And hey, if you if you like this channel, give it a good thumbs up. If you really enjoy it, consider subscribing. I'll put two to three videos out a week, and I try to cover Australian content around electric vehicles, renewable, sustainable technologies, and the like. All right, so let's jump straight into this. Now, just yesterday, my gosh, Tesla did changes. They do this all the time, and well, to quote, you know, that famous show that everyone seems to love at the moment, including me, in your face, the mirror. Terribly sorry about that. I, I know I should never ever sing, but the movie is Never Ending Story, and well, with Tesla, the Never Ending Story is that they're always changing, iterating, improving, and getting price and things moving around all the time. So. If you don't have an appetite for change, I've got to tell you, Tesla is maybe not the company for you because, well, between little things like maybe changing the liner inside the car, the Alcantara, or the seats, or the color options, yeah, we're going to get to this soon, and the various you can buy, the petrol you can, you name it. Tesla does this all the time. Unlike other legacy car makers who only might change their car every three to five years. Tesla does it all the time. Generally, no one notices unless there's like a, a Tesla nerd like me who's actually looking at the nitty gritty. And well, we're gonna dive into those changes right now. But just remember, like what Elon Musk tweeted recently, um, the Model S is not gonna have any massive interior change or anything exterior, no new model coming out. They're just gonna keep on constantly updating it. So watch this space. The elephant in the room. For those who've watched this channel before, and I've put, I'll put the link down below, plus up here somewhere. Last week, uh, six days ago, I ordered the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus for all those reasons. And importantly, I chose the pearl white. And the reason for that is, well, it's a multi-coat uh, paint. So I'm figuring it's got a bit better protection than your standard coat of paint. And as I understood from Elon's tweet in June, he basically said, no, we're going to be swapping all the cars in July to a white base paint and a bog standard, nothing special, a match. In fact, I'll, I'll put his tweet over here. Okay. Now remember this. Okay. So I put my order in five, six days ago on the belief that I don't want that. I actually want the pearl white paint. So I'm happy to pay $2,100 and get the test that I've always dreamed of. Fast forward to just yesterday, and what do they do? They make the pearl white paint standard. Oh, for free. Oh, gosh. So I've just blown $2,100 by not waiting for five or six days. After I saw this, I thought to myself, hey, I need to reach out to Tesla here because this is ridiculous. Um, I, I saw the posting, I went to the website and I looked at all the information that I could, and I discovered that, yeah, it's free. So I did have a Tesla rant, and here's what I wrote. You know you've made it in the, the Tesla EV world when you've got haters and Tesla shorts who actually start trolling you and putting some nasty comments like this up. <laughs> it's, 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 they're funny. They are seriously funny. But that said, for every one of these type of people, I believe there's at least 10 more of us. So keep up the awesome work, guys. Defend, defend, defend. You know, let's make this world a better place in which to live. And, and the only way we're going to do that is to move us to sustainable transport and electric vehicles are one way of doing it. All right, I diverge. So after my rant um, and all the comments that ensued, I thought today, hey, I'm going to call Tesla first thing in the morning and I'm going to ask them because this chap here, he actually said, hey, I spoke to Tesla, this was just yesterday, and they said, no, nah, we're going to waive the fee for the paint and it's all good. Thanks very much. Okay, so, all right. Remember, everything online is always, always true. No. So, today I was going to call Tesla and say, hey, what's going on? What can I do? You know, I could always just cancel my order and redo it, but now instead of an August delivery, fingers crossed maybe it says september so fine i'd have to wait one month but i'll save two thousand one hundred dollars at least plus you pay taxes on top of that so by waiting one month i'd save effectively a whole month of car repayments plus some few months actually so yeah i i was very very close to thinking to myself yeah i'll just cancel and redo it no dramas or what are, what are some other suggestions here um just pick up your car enjoy it for the week hand it back, you know, not having done the 1,000 kilometers and um, 
just reorder the one that you actually want. Uh, that's that's an option, but my question to you is, and if you know the answer, especially for those who live in America, if you do that, you, 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 I think you're just going to have to forego, though, the taxes you've paid on road cost and delivery. Sure, they're going to refund you, let's say, for the Australian $66,000 standard range plus. They'll refund you that $66,000, but you're going to lose out the $4,000 on those other taxes and fees. So um, I don't think that's a very good idea. Just putting that out there. Guess what happened this morning? Tessa actually called me and this very nice chap called Nick from Tessa, he starts a conversation like this, and I, and I kid you not, he's, he's a re he, reenactment. Here we go, best acting in the world, prepare. It's gonna be stellar. Uh, yeah, g'day, it's Chris. Uh, yeah, hi Chris, uh, this is Nick from Tesla, and I'm just calling up about your pearl white pain issue. That was his tone, okay. So, um, I'm thinking he might have seen my tweet because I, I did tag Tesla in my tweet and um, it did get a lot of attention, well, in my opinion, a lot of attention. I don't, I don't normally get like this many replies and likes and all that jazz. So maybe it did, did rise up in the te Tesla sphere of the corporate world of Tesla, maybe. <laughs> anyway, so Nick goes on. He goes, look, just letting you know, Chris, that we're the the new Pearl White being the standard base is going to, uh, we're going to waive that fee and we'll adjust that at the time of actually um, uh, delivery. Okay, so there'll be no cost to you. There's no dramas at all. That's great, Nick. Good to hear. Thanks very much, mate. And oh, watch it there. Uh, is the August delivery still the ETA for me? Uh, I really can't comment on that. We haven't had an update. I'm sorry. But, you know, we'll keep you informed nonetheless. And just be reassured that the Pearl White is going to be included at no charge. So this is great. And look, I, I'm going to say, in all the years that I've owned a car, I've never had a legacy car maker who's given me something of that much value for free. There's generally been some sort of compromise. Oh, we'll throw in some car mats in your first car service and we'll give you a, like a loaner car for all your servicing. That's the best I've ever got from any, any car maker. And um, so this, this I love, you know, I've, I've always lusted after the pearl white color. I did used to lust after the white one, but you know, that's, I've decided that's a bad idea. I've got young kids that are just gonna yuck that interior up and I just won't look after it well. Anyway, enough about the paint. So great, it doesn't matter what you get now, three S or X, they're all gonna include as free the pearl white paint, which is a multi-coat, which I imagine is probably easier for Tesla to actually um, you know, produce or maybe fix if there's any issues with the quality of the paintwork. So that's great. I've said great how many times today? We'll do a counter here and we'll stop using the word great from here forward, okay. Changes, let's talk about it. Standard range plus for the Model 3 is still for Victorian buyers with on-road costs included is $70,634. They've dropped from the specifications list in the partial premium interior, the LED fog lamps. So curious to see if they're actually um, gonna drop them for my car, pretending it's an August delivery. <laughs> We're pretending, right? We shall see. Next up, the long range. Now this, this was a real shocker and it's on road cost, $94,000. Like, oh my gosh. Just two days ago, you could have got the performance model, which has the same battery, the same range, as per like the American EPA method, by the way, as the long range. But it goes from zero to 100 in 3.5 seconds. So for my American European colleagues out there, when Tesla brought out the um, Model 3 configurator for Australia, they put the performance model in at $94,000 and had a $6,000 pack for things like the tires, the upgraded rims, the 20 inch rims, um, the rear spoiler and the software, you know, to um, uh, what do you call it? Track mode. Yes, track mode. And that whole package was at like $6,000. So all up all told on road costs were about 100,000, a bit over 100,000 if you option the performance model in full. But what they've just done is they've substituted what was the performance price for the long range one. So for those who purchased before yesterday, congrats, your car now goes from zero to 103 and a half seconds. <laughs> you've got the dual motors and you've got the range plus all the extra software, which the standard range plus doesn't have. Excellent choice indeed. Tessa Tom, I'm very jealous. Okay. So that's that price. And the other one is a little bit more of a shocker here, unfortunately, is that the uh, performance 
the performance model is $102,000 and a bit of change. So it's a little bit more expensive, but now they're actually including everything in that price. And actually, you know what? If you buy a Model S or an X, if you buy the performance model now, there's no longer, it's no longer an add-on. It's gonna be spec'd and actually built, which again helps Tesla with the logistics and how they build their cars to make it simplified, keep the production line, keep the production line simple. Um, if you've got a performance model now, they're all going to be specced up in full. So that includes, includes things like, like Ludicrous Plus um, for those cars who can do that, um, the bigger tires, the spoiler, you name it. Okay. So let's talk about the Model S and X prices. Starting with the Model S, with on-road costs for Victorian buyers, it, comes, it starts at $145,000 all the way up to $175,000. And for the Model X, from $157,000 to $181,000 again for the performance model importantly here and remember the theme of this episode is about change and how tesla is always you know never ending changing <laughs> yeah here yeah, right great grammar they deleted the 75 kilowatt hour variant from the s and x lineup so effectively they've put these cars out there as a high-end premium especially as those prices are very premium and the deleted the entry level models so um I guess this is just going to help simplify their lineup and maximize their profits because the price of the 75 kilowatt hour battery um, versus the 100 kilowatt hour battery um, on a dollar per dollar basis was a lot cheaper if you went for the 75 kilowatt one. But you know, I, th th these are value decisions and you know if uh, any advice I can give you, if two cars are identical to each other, always try to go for the longest range that you can within your budget, of course. And um, the, I think what Tesla's done here is, I think actually help themselves out by, again, simplifying the product line. So good on them. Okay, so I did promise a shorter video and well, it turns out it hasn't been. Oh gosh, wow, it's been a turbulent day. <laughs> okay, so again, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you really love what you see, I suggest subscribing. Helps out the channel, supports me, and you can get to see more great content like this. Was this great today, Chris? I'm unsure. Let me know below. Love to hear from you. Love these comments and things coming in. Really do appreciate them. I've almost finished my Kona EV video. I underestimated how much polishing and editing that that video would take, but thankfully, thankfully, I'm literally now just doing the, the musical touches and tighten the script a bit. And it's down from half an hour to about 20 minutes. So that's a good thing for you and me because I, I don't have attention span beyond 20 minutes. No, no. All right. If you do nothing, be good, be safe, and try to be green. Yeah.